Hello everyone, this is GamePro24X, and today we're going to be looking at FOBs. How much does it cost to get your FOB 3 and 4 all the way to max, and how long does it take? So, as I was looking through this footage and collecting data, I started noticing a lot of discrepancies between what was found here and what is listed in the book. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the strategy guide. And in the strategy guide, it has a list of everything that you can possibly think of inside this game, including FOB costs. And throughout my research, there's so much that Konami has changed. There's so much like number values that they have altered that are a lot more expensive than what they're supposed to be. And I do have one really good example, like closer to the end of the video, and I'll be sure to let you guys know where it is. But yes, I hope you guys enjoy this small time lapse of how long it took me to build my FOB 3 and then my FOB 4 from 0 to max. Now, I actually had the ability to build both of them at the same exact time, but for the purposes of a video, I really wanted to see how long it would take. And what is surprising is that I kind of forgot about this video. I when I went back and looked through all my like old Elgato videos, I noticed that I had a bunch of these videos lying around. I'm like, what are these? And I, it, it suddenly hit me. I'm like, oh shit! This was an old video that I had planned, but somehow forgot about. So, this is literally documentation that is a year old, like a little bit older than a year, that I dug up and decided to make a video about. So, I hope you guys enjoy it. And I hope you guys enjoy all the stuff that I did find when it came to this. And the purpose of this is to really just give you guys a broader picture of what to expect if you are trying to build all of your FOBs. Especially to those who are brand new. Um, this is supposed to showcase how much you're going to end up spending at the very end. Now, the numbers are going to be very scary looking. But trust me, because of Infinity Farming, all this shit doesn't matter. The numbers are not scary whatsoever because of Infinity Farming. The only thing that is a pain in the ass is the time. How much time it takes for every single platform to build. That's the only thing that is just very time consuming. But that's about it. So if you've noticed where it says time, it'll say like 3 days times 6 or whatever. I cut out all the resources and time from the command platforms and put it at the very end. So all the calculations that you're looking at is for the other platforms. So you'll see 3 days times 6, so that's just all 6 of them. Whatever's in the parentheses, that's theoretically if someone was crazy enough to build one platform at a time and wait for one platform to finish before building the next. That's how long it'll take. And of course, the realistic number is 4. So if you build all of them at the same exact time, realistically, you'll be waiting 4 days for that entire set to be done. So another interesting bit that I did discover in the book is that apparently we were supposed to build the first stage of the command platforms at one time. However... When you go and purchase a brand new FOB, the first platform is already built. And there you go, there is the first uh, FOB total, FOB 3. So that is all the resources and how much time you will do or spend making this. And it doesn't matter how long the other platforms take. The longest platform that takes to build is the command platform. So realistically, you're going to be waiting for that one to finish before the entire thing is done. FOB construction complete. So there you go. I just bought a brand new FOB and the first FOB or the first platform in the command platform is already built. So yeah, even though we don't have to build that anymore, they scrapped that idea. Um, it still doesn't make up for all the prices that they have increased it just it, it doesn't at all it's, it's very very ludicrous how much they gave us compared to what was supposed to be there now you're going to notice some jump cuts here and there especially here on the fob4 that's because i have to quit the game save it and then start doing the infinity farm process just so i have enough materials to continue this uh fob construction 
So, yes, uh, it does take a lot out of your wallet to build FOB4 and FOB3 as well. Um, thankfully, we have Infinity Farming, so that's not an issue. It only takes like five minutes for the process and such. So it can be done very, very quick. I do feel bad, however, for people on Xbox One who don't have this method and they have to rely on putting on insurance and farming with a buddy and stealing each other's resources because that will take you a while. It'll take you like an hour, maybe two hours just to finally cap on everything that you just earned just to spend it all in like two seconds. So yeah, it's pretty shitty for you guys on Xbox One. platform construction. Commencing platform construction. Commencing platform construction. Commencing platform construction. So if you've been paying attention and you've been looking at biofuel and common, uh, you'll notice that they all had the same value on every, every single step of the way, on every single platform. However, once you reach level 3 on FOB4, the pricing for the fuel is slightly cheaper than everything else. I don't exactly know why that happened, but I can guarantee you it's not for like the good or benefit of us because if you were to look at what the original price is for this FOB and such before Konami went back and changed it, then you'll definitely see like then you'll definitely not really feel special or like they have your best interest in mind so if you're wondering why they increased the prices well it could be because they did also change how much you earn per fob invasion so that's a possibility as to why they also increased the prices from what the book originally stated but then again since i don't really play fob uh invasions too often i don't know how much you actually get per run and i don't know if it's really that beneficial for you in the long run and of course due to all the shit that we have seen them do we they tend to do things that will most likely make you play the game a little bit longer than you have to so that's another possible reason and one that i'm kind of leaning towards because well it's konami and i don't expect them to be any usual game development studio I, I expect them to be konami so a really really good example of what the prices should have been take a look at the intel platform the intel platform according to the book at this level on fob4 should have almost been 4 million gmp 112,000 common and fuel and only have taken you about three days to build and as you can tell the time and the resources have taken a huge hit and were practically doubled so again, I don't know if that's just a byproduct of them increasing how much you get per FOB and like how much you can get just opportunity-wise through FOBs, or they increased it because they want you to play longer and keep their game alive, which I wouldn't be surprised if that was the goal, seeing as 
how much they de they've delayed the Fulton launcher along with all the other shit as well. Now, remember when I said earlier that realistically the final piece of every FLB is going to be the command platform? That th it's always going to be the last one to build. So theoretically, for your fourth FLB to be fully completed, it will take you nearly a month to build. 23 days. That's ridiculous. And of course, FLB 3, that also took about like, what, half a month, I think? So yes, I literally devoted... Uh, a month and a half of studying this for you guys way back then and this was all in like January 2016 so yeah it has been like a year <laughs> and like I said I had you you have the ability to build both FOBs at the same time so you it will it probably wouldn't be exactly a month like how it took me but if you are very strapped for uh, mother beast coins and you're just sitting around collecting the freebies as they come in um, you can definitely just, you know, do that and you, you'll possibly have enough for the fourth FOB by the time your third one is done. So it's very, very time consuming. And, you know, <laughs> I kind of never expected this game to actually like you have to wait like a, nearly a month for something to be done. But that's that's just how it is. And it's ridiculous. All right. So the results for FOB four. You would have spent 138,724,000 GMP, 3,251,200 common metal, 1,225,800 minor metal, 5,143,800 fuel, 2,438,400 bio materials. The time it would have taken you to build all that shit uh, could possibly be 44 days. But realistically, you're if you've been building everything all like together, the last thing that's going to be finished building is going to be the command platform. And I don't know if you guys noticed it, but back at level four, the command platform literally took 15 fucking days to build. Yes, 15 days. That's ridiculous. Just for one platform, one. That's the only one that takes that much time. And again, in in the actual strategy guide, in the book, it should have been five days. <laughs> so that, that, that should probably put into perspective how much they have altered it. All they did was just add a one in front of that five and bam, now it's 15 days and go fuck yourself. So yes, this is how long it will take you to build the fourth FOB. But... Now it's time to add all the numbers together and see a grand total of how much everything would have cost for both FOBs at the same time. So the grand total of both FOB 3 and 4 combined is 225,904,000 GMP, 5,414,000 common metal, 1,801,400 minor metal, 8,422,900 fuel, 4,060,500 biomaterials, the estimated time in realistic days is 35 days, so practically a whole month to complete both FOB 3 and 4. So there you go, and that's just for those two. I didn't even count the other FOBs, but this is just the aftermath of just the biggest ones possible. So 
the the price is going to be a lot more when you total everything together. So, yeah, rest in peace wallet. So, there you have it everyone. That is the amount of materials you will have to spend if you want to continue building all the FOBs, and this is only counting FOB, FOB 3 and 4. So, yeah, I hope that just puts everything in perspective, and I hope you guys learned something new because I know I did when it came to like the pricing and like how everything changed over time and just the weird little discrepancies over it. And in all honesty, nobody would have noticed any of this if we didn't have the strategy guide. And I'm actually kind of surprised no one has actually like talked about this or even mentioned it or did any research about it. So I'm kind of glad I dug this up from my old files and was able to go back into it because I genuinely learned something a little bit different today. So yeah, this was actually kind of exciting. So something kind of new and different. But, you know, once again, sadly, it's we, we see more and more evidence of uh, Konami's doing when it comes to just the game itself. So whether it be good or bad, I, I honestly don't even see any good in it. But, you know, the more that we uncover, the more we're aware, the more we understand how certain things work and why certain things are the way that they are. So still a lot more things to do in this game uh, when it comes to just researching and whatnot. I, I am very, very curious to know what other concepts, what other things in this game mechanic-wise are just not working how they were supposed to, like not working as intended. Because uh, I already know for a fact morale is broken, but I will have to make a video about that because I never really did. So... You know, expect that one to be not next, but upcoming. Other than that, I hope you guys really enjoyed all my findings and my research. And if you liked what you saw, definitely give it a like. Definitely subscribe. And if you really want to, you can also donate donate to my Patreon. Thank you, uh, Joshua and DJ, for donating to me. I greatly appreciate your guys' contribution to keep on making these videos. And I greatly appreciate everyone who watches these videos and gives gives me support. I couldn't have done a lot of this without you guys. So, you know, I'm very grateful for that. So, anyways, this is GamePro24X, and I will see you guys later.